What's up everybody, my name is Cap and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now this is a fairly simple one for most people. Some of you may have even seen this before, but I've never done this one. I've been playing with it for a little while. I thought it was kind of cool and thought I would show you how to do that. And that is a time sensitive door. See the door on the left is open because the sun is up, which means the door on the right is closed. But should I go through and change it to nighttime, the door switch. One on the left is closed at night, one on the right is open at night. And switch it back again and they switch back and forth there. This is really simple to do, but I'll show you guys how to actually go about doing it. Alrighty then, now how to build it. As you can see, there's not much to it. It's pretty simple. And I have this one covered up just to show you that you can have the entire thing covered up so it's all nice and hidden, but then you can go through and break it through here if you wanna actually see what it looks like. It's not really that big of a secret. So anyway, I'll show you how to go about doing this because it's all done with the daylight sensor, which some of you may or may not have played with, but it's a really cool tool. But before I show you how to build it, which I will walk you through how to do it, I'll show you how to make the daylight sensor in case you've never actually made one before. Okay, to make the daylight sensor, you're going to need three things, glass, nether quartz, and wood slabs of any kind. The only one that's going to be really a challenge is going to be the nether quartz, and that's only because you have to go to the nether, find some nether quartz ore, and have an iron pickaxe or better, and tear it up to get the nether quartz. But that's basically about it. So then you just put the glass across the top, nether quartz across the middle, and slabs across the bottom, and boom, you got a daylight sensor. To actually build it is pretty simple. Basically just pick a block you want your door to be on. I'm putting it on this way so it's on the, the outside. And if you want to, you can go ahead and throw up a block you know, around it if you want to. But if you do, make sure you block out this one first. And then all you need to do is a two by three by two deep hole just like this. And that's pretty much it. It's not much more complicated than that. Take some redstone dust, put it down right there. A repeater, put it down facing the block. It doesn't matter which tick mark you put it on there. I mean, if you put it all the way up, you'll have a one second delay, but that's about it. And then use your redstone dust, put it in the shape of a U. Take your daylight sensor you made and put it on this block right here. And it's going to stick it on the bottom because it can't go on the actual top of it there, but that's quite all right. And you can see the door actually opened. And that's because the daylight sensor is seeing that there's a light source shining down on it, which would be the sun. And it's producing a redstone signal, which in turn is powering this block and this block is powering this block which the door is actually on and so it opens but if you want to have it opposite so that when the sun is out the door closes and it opens at nighttime all you have to do is to make a redstone inverter now that sounds way more complicated than it actually is if you're not really familiar with redstone so i'll show you how to do that easy all you have to do is put a block down of any kind and get a redstone torch and put it on the back side of this block and you'll see now it's inverted so even though the sun is still coming down, the daylight sensor has a redstone signal. Once it hits this block, it turns the torch off, which is normally always on, unless it's receiving a signal. And thus, it turns the rest of the blocks off and the door closes. And then you can proceed to cover up everything except for the daylight sensor itself and build yourself a nice little wall if you want to. See, if you cover that up, it blocks the light off. Now, that's really about it. There's not much more to that. Like I said, I think this would be great for using puzzles or maybe a maze that only part of it opens up at night. Or if you want to be really devious in your map, maybe have a room full of creepers or skeletons and at nighttime the door opens and releases the flood. And then during the daytime it closes and keeps you safe for a little bit. So that's basically about it. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, throw a like on it. Let me know. Um, hopefully this will inspire you guys to make something cool with it. Thank you guys for all your time, and I will catch you later.